Hello, welcome everybody, one and all, to this extraordinary experience, the European Finals of the Ready Steady Pan Tournament. We're looking at Silence of the Pans versus Yupan. My name is Agro, I'm joined today by Loic, and people are out of the huts. They're moving with great frosty towards the middle. I'm following along behind LeBlanc at the moment, making use of his uh, expert equipment. Uh, he's transformed himself into, into a confliction with Beast. Beast takes him down. Nice, easy, swift kill. And it looks like there is there is nobody on midpoint. I don't know whether or not the entire point of this is to capture the points, or if it's simply to take out the enemy team. Oh, I don't know. Are we actually bloody live streaming? There seems to be a, a certain there's lack of people. Yeah, I think someone disconnected in there doing a restart soon. Well, okay. Nothing like professionalism, that's what I like to see on this channel. And this is absolutely nothing like professionalism. I have no idea what's going on, this is very confusing. Oh, we have 12 now. Right, we have 12, and they're doing a reset. They are doing a reset. And we are off, finally, after a much ado about everything, there is a, a striking force being pushed out of both teams. We are driving towards mid. Uh, I don't see any sort of quirky tactics, except possibly a bit of milk being ditched out there. That's some Jurati as well from the uh, Yipan. I think they're, they're setting a stage. They, they, want to, they want to make sure that the, the, the kills are swift and deliberate. I'm seeing two-on-one action against Klax here, and a bit of a ducking motion as Kraken uh, takes to the pond, uh, braving uh, the, 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 the wetty climate um, of a train saw laser fish thing. God knows what's going on. Right, much exchange of pans in the midpoint here. Looks like the entirety of the red team is, is dominating that mid area, despite being covered in urine. It's only Sony alive, and he's gone down. Uh, that's, that's and that will allow the red team to cap this point for the first time in this round. Excellent work there, red team. You know what's up. You know how to activate your pan goodness. Right, well, they're holding a very, very far... That looks like they're sort of gathered in the middle. Almost as if they don't care. They're waving their pans in the air. Is it working out for them? That, that's what can be asked now. Is it working out for them? Did they make the right choice to sort of stay back? Or have they lost it? Have they allowed a gap in their wall of defense? Uh, I see the entire midpoint is unguarded, except for a person uh, that has been taken down by Belly420 going in for the kill. I don't know quite whether they decided not to cap mid. It seems to be an entire tactic on this is essentially go for the kills first and the point second. Yeah, I just think they're having fun over here at the, uh, at the Yupan side as Kraken and Scramble go down and it looks like Blue is coming for the point right now. They finally decided to go for the points. They actually haven't got any time on the point there. And the clock is still ticking down for them. They really can't afford to take these chances. They had an opportunity. They let it go. Uh, and now the clock is still on its ticky, 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 wicky, ticky way down. I wish I hadn't started that conversation. But it's too late now. Piss goes out for Lecter. Uh, and it, it's almost a standstill. I don't know how one of these teams, at least, even made it into the final. They're not even trying. No time on the clock whatsoever. Oh, certainly, finally, a mid-fight takes place. A bit of aggression, that's what we like to see. And they're coming in on force. But I think I think that I think they have less success than a, a wall-mounted saw at the moment. Only Blank remains a survivor, and Blank seems to be lost. Uh, taking on the nose with Light O. Oh my goodness me, not even able to take the final kill. Blank, what are you doing, fella? What are you? You can't do anything from there. Get back into the fray, fella. We're missing all of the action. Everything taking place on the midpoint. Is Blue finally about to take mid? Yes, no. No, 
No, they're not about to take mid. No, they have taken it. They've taken mid. I see and the trade. And gets a kill on... Excellent. Int. Gotta gotta watch out for those trains as they fall from the sky and take their revenge on humanity itself. The map, the only map that fights back. <laughs> the only map where you're likely to get killed by it than any other player. I haven't seen this much hand-to-hand -hand action since I was last playing to Groot Keep. Uh, and Red has taken the point back again. Oh, oh we my have a train goodness. Rain. That's it. Train rain happens. It took with scrambled. it. Scrambled went down to a train. Uh, it looks like Silence have retaken this point and they're not given any time for the e pan to take it back, it seems. Although you've got to be alive to, to celebrate. And finally, it looks like uh, there's, there's a conflict on mid. Uh, which is about time, because if they don't take it, they're going to lose it. Well, I think someone on Yipan is having a little bit of internet trouble, because we've just lost them again. Don't think it's going to make any difference, to be perfectly honest. We'll see aggression coming out. It's just oh, pandemonium, it's, my point. It's extraordinary silence of the pans really have dominated this point. They've taken it wholeheartedly. They've pushed into those trains. Even now, they're falling, their lives just a smattering of, of dust and blood to, to the guts of the trains. They want a pause, and a pause is being denied to them. Want pause? No, they say. No, I tell a lie. It is Yipan's giving the opportunity to pause, but they're not taking any of it. They're fully, fully capable of making a huge amount of uh, pan-related damage on the other team. And in fact, even as I say this, it looks very much like Japan might be capable. Oh, he's on a 3k right now. I spoke too soon. <laughs> now the sides of the pans have taken mid again. It looks like it's theirs to lose. Uh, they're fully committed to owning this train related. Oh, there goes Beast. Beast taken down by the train again. I think that if you don't, if you haven't long wait the thing with the, anyway, uh, certainly gets a nice little kick in there on Tommy. Uh, a lovely exchange of pan related death. I've seen a lot of golden pans with this. Maybe it's just my own loadouts that has everybody uh, using the golden pan, but it, <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> finally get to Perhaps. use, finally get to use that tweak. Oh, what a glorious sight it would be to have everybody falling in golden spheres like they are some sort of trophy. Nope. Here we go. Finally, back on mid. Uh, it looks like there is there's a stalemate that's been utilized uh, by Silence of the Pans. The, for a team called Silence of the Pans, they're not taking this very quietly. They're not sitting down. They are not getting distracted from their goal. And their goal is to, to win today. They came up with every intention. And they're making use of those pans of much, much eager death. Considering all of the possibilities that are available with this map, I haven't seen people make great use of exploding pumpkins or forcing each other into, into uh, blades. This is really the map where it's going to be all of the tricky substances coming out. And my goodness me, there goes Benny420 and Klaxir teaming together to take out Tommy. And finally, I think they're about to try and take mid again. No! Uh, been denied! Denied by Beast, who's done so much damage! Can anyone stop this? <laughs> he is a... Oh, I'm assuming he... He is a beast! A beast of a man with a pan! I've seen Cerny sat on those blades, though. Cerny, that's the, the trick move. Taunting! <laughs> taunting the other team to come and get him, knowing full well... He's just well, thinking about it. That's right. Knowing full well they stand another chance. Well, there's a bit of a, I think there's a bit of a pause going on at the moment. Either that or everybody's coordinated a silent standstill. Like, what have you seen today? What, 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 are your, what are your highlights of these last few moments of experiencing Ready Steady Pan firsthand? I think it's the train rains. It's just very entertaining to watch. Indeed it is. Watching the map take it back. Watching the map uh, as, as they indiscriminately uh, thrust trains and a downward momentum 
towards the faces, gallbladders, and general limbs of players. I think Train Rain has it for me too. Although I'd like to have a, a little bit of a shout out to all of these gorgeous uh, uh, sharks with lasers attached to them hanging out in the water. Wonder what's going on. What's going through the minds of these individuals as they stand here waiting eagerly to see what fate will have in store for them? What What is the mind set of a panna? Oh, if I was on the e pan side right now, uh, I think the timer still had about 20 or 30 seconds to go before the pause. Yep. And so we have an unpause. We have an unpause. We have once again thrust back into the action. And it looks like for the first time ever, Yi Pan are making, <laughs> I was going to say, a good use of their time. Unfortunately, Benny chose that moment to dive into a laser. So, not so good. Cerny, I don't think I've seen Cerny move from his spot yet. Uh, and no, that, that yeah. finished it. <laughs> He's that, moving now. That finished it. If you can't kill someone by running at them face on, uh, jump on the heads and whack them with a pan. That's my motto. It's my family motto, strangely enough. We don't get too many visitors anymore anyway. Uh, right, so it looks like there's not going to be an opportunity here for uh, Yi Pan to take back the point. Silence the Pan's holding on with grim determination, even when you think they have a chance. Uh, oh, well, there's, there's always, there's another one on the points, another one on the point. Ints goes taken down again. They're thrusting themselves one at a time at a point. It doesn't seem like it's going to be an appropriate action. Or the hound said that blanket takes him back. My goodness me, things are turning oh, around right now. We've been double, triple, quadruple overtime. And Austin, Austin has the last opportunity there. No, one more time, one more time. Oh no, Int, there he goes. There he goes. Int is finally down. And signs there, but they worked for that one. Gotta give it to them that time. They definitely worked for that win. Uh, yeah, especially uh, bees putting in some work there. Getting a load of kills. Absolutely. I'm expecting to see a lot more conflict. I think they've had their warm up now. I want to see Science of the Pants do some work. Everyone loves a good underdog story. I think they appreciate now that they actually have to get time on point as well. They need to work together, fight together. Uh, and as we see, uh, the, the working together thing, not really their strong point. There seems to be a great deal of this going in, sort of onesie twosie, getting killed by the opposition. Science of the Pants, they've got such teamwork and determination going on here. They know which side of the bread their pan is buttered on. And another falling destruction uh, enabled pan moment where the trains descend from the sky. And each time the map took no murders. Though I did just see Benny420 push scrambled into the train, sorry, into the saw that's attached to the wall. Finally, it looks like this team is getting themselves together. They're there taking no uh, no prisoners at all as pin or painball, panable, panable lecture. I just got it. I just got the joke. <laughs> okay. Yes. So right now, another exchange of mid. I think mid is really where it's at for this map. It is a king of the hill after all. What are you going to do? But you always end up on mid. And... There's a lovely exchange going on, a one-on-one -on -one int, and do you know what? Every time I call these exchanges out, they're over before they're even started. Such incredibly hard work, such determination going on by these individuals, these players. They know what's up. They know how to be effective, how to kill, how to, how to destroy their enemies. It's like they've played this game before. Loic, have you been counting the kills by the by the lasers? Professional eSport video games! Excellent there, Determination. I'm sure you all caught that. I don't think that's probably new for this map. Uh, professional eSport video game uh, being called out there on this map. I'm seeing the scars, the blood, uh, the, 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 the bits of uh, pan-related death uh, all over the place. This is what you expect to see when you sign up 
to, to watch your favorite esport team go at it against your other favorite esport team. It's a pan to the death. It's it's a it's, it's a spanking, a panking. Uh, a, a panking is being doled out by uh, the silence of the pans against Japan. Your man, Japan. He's not in Japan. Because that's not in Europe. And this is the European Grand Final. That would be a great team name, though. <laughs> Your man from Japan. Uh, yes, it would be, but they missed the opportunity. They had the chance, and they chose not to take it. The fools, a lot of them. What can I say now? It looks like it, it, it seems to be that Japan doesn't want to let this go. They know they've got to get to the middle, but they're not fighting together as a team, and that's where they're losing out. You think about that pan to pan exchange as if somehow it's going to be an even match. You turn up there, and you've got just as much chance as the other fellow to, to make a good name for yourself and get out and do some killing. But it's not true. If you're going up against a field of men with pans in their hands, you will lose. Trust me, I know this first hand. First panned. Oh, that was tenuous. Oh, a huge amount of piss went out there by Int. Just layering it on thick and deep and even. That's how you make an effective piss related uh, weapon. You make sure you hit as many people as you possibly can. And with that destructive force, you take back the point. You make that point blue. And then you lead. And you attack. You don't wait. And you watch out for the trains. Yes, and then you run away from trains. That's that's the other thing you have to do. Lead and run away from trains. And don't get distracted. Oh my goodness me. There he goes. Austin taking down once again. But Cerny having none of it. Cerny making his breakout. Uh, uh, oh goodness. That was a jumping hit. I'm not sure that counts as an air shot. Everyone was technically in the air. <laughs> So I think it does. That's a uh, first, first air pan. First <laughs> air pan indeed. We're, we're breaking history here today. Uh, a mid-exchange air-related attack, an air raid. Uh, I don't know quite what happened then. It was a turnaround, a complete turnaround. And once again, turnaround even more. We're turning left and right and inside out. The, I think the piss, the piss is really coming into. The Jurata is really coming into. Full effect. Uh, I think uh, Japan are actually working it together. They are finally figured it out. They know they need to be moving as a team. And the effect of that teamwork is that they're taking heads. Or they're taking bellies or spleens. With their pan action. Their pan handling as it were. Yeah, it seems they've really figured out how to play this game now. It only took them like half an hour or something. It's ridiculous. It'll be alright, this. 15 seconds before they take the lead for the first time. That, that's I mean, they're almost at even Stevens now. Uh, the clock's about to flip over the other way, and they oh, well, you're not going to do it that way, Blanc. You're going to do the, the damage <laughs> by walking into a laser when there's no no enemies around. That's hilarious, stupid moments of inaccuracy. Uh, Benny doing his 420 action. Oh my goodness, how could they possibly have let this lead go? They had they had everything to play for. They they were gonna be someone. Less than five seconds on the clock. You've got to get on the point. Get on the point blank. Here we go. There it is. There it is. One and all. My goodness me. That's the way you lose a point, Japan. What were you thinking? What indeed were you thinking? You, you stood no chance. You need to play together, people. You need to know how to make this your own team, your own match. And with that, we see the Science of the Pans taking the first map on this, the European Team Fortress 2 Ready Steady Pan Grand Final. Only another map or so. I don't know how many there's going to be. There's three maps. At least one more map for Yipan to finally be able to stake their claim in this. The most majestic of ways of expressing yourself if you are a human being and you play Team Fortress 2. Loic, was that as good for you as it was for me? Uh, yeah, it was... 
something. Yes, it certainly was something. The most understated man in Team Fortress 2, Lowick. You have a way with so few words. It is an absolute pleasure to be able to take your casting, Cherry, with me today. Uh, I am very much looking forward to, to seeing you burst out of that paper bag that's held you prisoner and give some feedback, people. Give some feedback. Speaking of feedback, we've got someone with us who's listening in. Listening in, I say, it's time to bring them out. Bring them to the mid. Make sure they know that they are here with us. Uh, I am, of course, talking about Dirt Bomb. I'm hoping that Dirt Bomb will hear this message and rush to our aid, uh, because Dirt Bomb knows a thing or two about pans. Or not. Or not. We will see what happens in the coming moments. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we are about... about to jump into Warm Tick. Uh, It's a map totally different from anything you've ever seen if the only thing you've ever seen before was chainsaw laser your mind will be blown completely off the off the wall there are no trains descending from the sky in this map uh, hello hi. dirt bomb and welcome welcome to the stream dirt bomb um i i need to ask you are you a person with experience of pans well, you know, every week I like to pull out the pan, you know, get it oiled up, make some good old bacon. My favorite, one of my favorite sandwiches out there is BLT. You can't make a good BLT without bacon. And or without a good a pan. old pan for that. Or a skillet. Or a skillet, yeah, sure. I mean, you could do it under the grill, but it's not the same. No. You need a pan. You, you know what the worst excuse? For. A microwave. Oh, goodness me. We're not even big. That. I tell you what, if this game had a microwave oven in it, I wouldn't play with a microwave oven at all. I agree. I mean, it would look silly apart from anything else running around the world, throwing microwave ovens at each other. I mean, what would be the point in that? None. No point whatsoever. No, I am very pleased that that you, representative as you are, of this mighty game of pan-related tournaments, uh, is here to share your skills, your understanding, with us as 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 feeble as as mere mortal humans uh denizens of a world without uh without uh pans being the forefront of every activity we ever get engaged in uh dirt bomb can you can you tell us a bit about this map how you expect to see it be played uh, and what you thought of the action that we just witnessed on chainsaw laser okay well just judging by the map knowledge uh people are gonna rush hold down left click and hopefully someone dies right yes and for train saw laser you know what i didn't see enough people getting cut by lasers i saw a lot of trains a lot of saws but not much lasers i was kind of disappointed by that i've got to admit i'm with you on the lasers i saw a lot of people run into lasers but i didn't see a lot of people sort of dive onto lasers or or get attacked by the lasers on the sharks in the water yeah that was really disappointing I didn't see anyone burning to death either, and there was plenty of opportunity for that. I agree. Although it wasn't called Rainsaw Laser Burning to Death. But uh, Okay, but how do you think that was going to turn out? Do you know what? Given the experience we've just had, the witnessed with uh, Silence the Pans, really sort of taking the team tactic to the new extraordinary level of everybody hanging together and then whacking the other person who comes in, if they're able to repeat that kind of that kind of talented team play, then I think they're onto a winner. Hmm. I fear for Japan. Ah oh, man, thinking you think I should give out a pan to someone who wins? I can only give it to one thing though. Uh, well, that's that's a uh, that's new revelation. Is it is it a special pan, or is it your pan? Uh, it's just my pan. It's the same pan I use for like. You know, cooking bacon. That seems irrelevant to do, but then what would you do? I mean, you're going to use a microwave? Well, I have this extra pan from King Raja he gave me, so I guess I could just open this and use this instead. It's brand new. Uh, yes. Did he sign it? Yeah, he signed it. You know, I need to make bacon. In his blood? 
Anyway, oh boy. right, so uh, we're looking at Warm Tick now. It, it is a lesser played, uh, certainly in the world of conventional Team Fortress 2, casual Team Fortress 2, although I've seen it uh, in being played or utilised quite a lot in competitive Team Fortress 2, uh, which is what we're seeing today. We're seeing, of course, the European Grand Finals of Ready Steady Pan, uh, where all great professionals come to be ha hit by pans. I agree, yeah. Absolutely! <laughs> what do you want me to say? Everything! Use the words! Use I'm your just, force! I'm just excited to see some people get hit in the head with frying pans. This is what I showed up for. This is what I've been working towards my whole life. Indeed. Can you settle an argument? Are, you, are we? Are we? Because I haven't seen any today. Is the use of ham also acceptable in Ready Steady Ham? Pan. No, I, I'm going to say no ham on this one, Jim. We're not doing Fantastic. any. Uh, no ham. No ham here. No Copy ham loyal. allowed here. Just pants. I better see only. Ah, uh, you can see my right now. Uh, wait. Sorry, just my trousers. Uh, right. So, pans, uh, they're beautiful, they're, uh, they do so much damage with the hit. Is it possible to kill anyone with a single pan-related slash, or is it going to be two or three? What, what's the sort of damage you expect to see off a pan? Like in real life? No, in the game, oh, unless you thank expect God. the game to be real life, in which case I'm right there with you. Hmm. Well, I'm expecting to see at least two pan hits per kill. At least two hits. At least two hits. It seems a reasonable number to go for. Dirt Bomb, it's been fantastic talking to you. Clearly, a very knowledgeable person about the world of pan-related fighting. Did you did you play in this this league, this this map, this this season? No, I've been just helping out the uh, administrators and everything for Ready Steady Pan. Oh, oh we're thing. getting a countdown. Start up. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, welcome once again to map two of the European Grand Finals of season three of the Ready Steady Pan Tournament. This is what it's all about. All it's worth working for is an opportunity to find yourself uh, sharing the stage with your team, getting piss thrown all over you, maybe possibly getting milk thrown over you as well, and fighting as if your life depended upon it to get some time on the clock in the middle. My name is Agro. I am here with Loic. The speechless one. And we are here enjoying this mid-fight battle. Which seems to have gone both towards red and then towards blue. And now, now it's anybody's game. Who's going to be dominating? Who's going to be taking home the bacon, as it were? It's certainly not going to be Blanc. Blanc has gone down to the much-handled pan of Scrambled. Uh, not the sort of person you expect to see with eggs on their face. Ah, uh, no. Nope. Uh, it looks like there's going to be a whole pushback momentum thing going on here. It looks like Int has taken a bit of damage against uh, Kraken, or Kraken has returned it full heartedly. Uh, whatever that was, but in reverse. And there we go, Int once again with a, a, a good whacking sensation going on there. A good feel in the whack whack no no place. An extraordinary exchange going, my goodness me, I was not expecting to see that. Beast going ham, going all out against uh, a, a clearly superior force. Beast dominating the points. Palable Laxa just doing a little dance, a little jig uh, on the midpoint there as if as if they just don't care. And now that there's a whole sensation thing. Uh, Japan is building up for this. They know what they need to do. They know they need to stick together. They can't go on with this 1v1. They need to do a 6v1 in order to win. So they're teaming up, they're working together finally. Uh, whether or not it pays out for them, there's yet to be seen. But Japan, uh, it's making a little bit of an escape maneuver there. Going to help his, his comrades uh, take out uh, the last of the trash on mid. 
my goodness me there. Cerny finally taken out. Cerny was doing uh, a little bit of damage themselves. Uh, right, well, no, what can I say? We're almost at a point there where Japan was going to be successful, but it turned right around again. Uh, finally, Japan getting uh, getting a few people on midpoint again, as if they've reset the map themselves and trying to be effective, but it's a useless, useless attack. I don't know how it is they're failing so badly. Finally, a uh, bit of piss on, on Beast. Maybe that can be effective. Uh, laying the map out there for... Uh, the Klaxoo. Please, Klaxoo. There we are. It's, it's Klaxoo. Uh, right, Klaxoo was left on his own briefly for a moment then, and that was all it left, all that was required in order to enforce a loss. Right, we're going to see a movement here. We, uh, an an attacking, attacking process. Three players determined to move together as one swift shark. Sinking their jaws into the opposition. Uh, whether through accident or design, finally Japan is pulling together. Uh, and while their numbers are not strong and each individual person's health uh, might be that of a small twig, together they are no better off. No, they're still getting taken out. And with absolutely almost no time on the clock at all for Japan, Silence of the Pans... Uh, just, just doing so much damage, ganging up four on one. Well, having said that, is that Bunny 420? Bunny 420 doing amazing amounts of damage on there, but it wasn't enough. Bunny 420 goes down without a question, and the first point on this map absolutely, absolutely dominated uh, by the silence of the pans. Uh, they're certainly not silent today. I can hear the donging from here. It looks like it's going to be a short run. Science of the Pants making another impressive push. I see the milky goodness fly out already. Uh, Int is uh, Int healing with uh, healing the opposition uh, with every pan that finds his face. And really, that's the that's the special tactic we've seen here this evening. If if nothing else, it's all about the additional liquids. It's all about your piss and your milk. Which I'm sure your mother told you about. Loic is still quiet. Uh, right, just back to me then. And we see finally once again in a way that uh, I don't think any of us were really expecting to see today. Uh, certainly not Loic, who was having a bit of internet problems, but I'm sure they will return shortly. Um, we are seeing finally uh japan's backs up against the wall and they're going for it now it looks like they're pushing back now benny 420 does a bit of damage takes out uh takes out a, a single foe uh it's it's gonna be 4v3 v2 v1 so much lost so quickly uh by so many people uh has never been seen before uh Klaxia is just hiding hiding now uh determined not to get killed before the rest of the team turns up and it looks like the rest of the team has finally managed to turn up here uh they, they're approaching mid i don't think they've seen the uh, the soldier that hides behind them i am of course talking about uh this fine gentleman by the uh Lico. Lico is uh just hopping all over the place like a kangaroo uh, finally, my goodness me, they're actually playing together as a group. Who would have thought it? Japan is doing effective work on midpoint. They might actually get some time on the clock. Benny420. Oh, Benny420, we had high hopes for you. Even there was an opportunity there. You were, the team that you were fighting against was covered in urine. Uh, but it's not enough. It's not enough. One versus three. Bit of a bit of a daunting prospect for you there, Benny. You did so well, though. In fact, you're back with your team now. Excellent. I'm glad to see you all. You, you buried the hatchet or the pan shit. Uh, can't really do a pan joke into that. Uh, and finally making a move together. And the difference it makes is extraordinary. The difference it makes. There was a mid-air collision of pans there right over the point. Blank could have been my hero, but instead chose to die. I'm assuming that was a choice as opposed to uh, a bit of interactivity. Uh, finally, Japan. 
Japan. Uh, they're getting, they're almost, they're, are they going to put time on the clock? No, I don't think they actually are. Uh, it does make a difference. You you do have to put time on the clock in order to win. Uh, in case there has been any uh, any kind of a, an upset or, or, or change in the way, the nature of knowledge and time and space itself. Uh, Enter Benny finally taking down uh, Liko. And I'm wondering now whether or not they ever actually get any time on the clock. It seems that there's an, an infinite supply of the silence of the pans. Uh, finally, the last one goes down. Tommy finally goes down to Cerny. Cerny chose to allow the team to have that point. And the ticker, the timer, finally, finally starts to go down for Japan's. This is where it all starts to make sense for Japan. Cerny seems to be the one to beat uh, with a pan. Uh, it's going down almost immediately there. Uh, Austin taking amazing pleasure in destroying Scambled, only to fall later, uh, a few moments later. Uh, and this is an exchange that uh, Klaxo does not want to take on their own. I believe they're hiding under the point now. I'm going to have a deep dive to experience this firsthand. Running away like a little scouty McScout boy. That's not going to do you any good. You need to get back in there, back into the fray. Enjoy the excitement, the match, the the speculation, the spectacle of driving home your advantage. My goodness, there it is. Finally, we see the silence of the pans taking back the point. That point is now very much red. Very, very much red. It is the red of victory. That's a huge comeback. Extraordinary comeback. 200, welcome to the stream for the first hey. time. Oh, yep, oh, I'm 200. You I'm are like, 200. Yeah, I'm just like um, the developer guy behind the Reddit Steady Pan. Well, welcome. Uh, are you enjoying this this exchange of blood and pans? Extremely. Uh, bacon I'm related. Sorry to interrupt you. Okay. No, no, that's <laughs> fine. That was uh, something that needed to be said. Uh, we have seen now that uh, Science of the Pans are fully capable of dominating this world. Uh, as they get uh, yet another point uh, on this map. Japan's... I, I don't know. I just don't know. Japan... What are they going to do? How are they going to react? What, if, what, what does Japan have to do to show that they're fully capable of being useful? They still kind of have like a tiny chance of a comeback. But I, I don't really see that coming, honestly. As even as you say that, there's an exchange at mid. Oh goodness me! There was an exchange at mid. Such a possibility there. It was a two-on-two, two, a fully functioning team of Japan versus a squalling squad of of miscreants uh, for silence of the pans. Uh, and and that is uh, just not enough. They, they seem to be wielding magic pans of of infinite power uh, and grace. Uh, signs of the Sides of the pans, it, like, I, I don't know how they're doing it, but the, every pan, every swing seems to hit. Uh, every uh, boisterous, echoing thud uh, just driven home uh, to the extent that uh, there's much jubilation, dancing, a bit of casual karaoke. I see someone setting up a picnic table uh, in the mid area there. That's a joke. I'm sorry if you went to look for it. Uh, but no, Sides of the pans, not even worried anymore. Uh, Japan, they're even getting some time. It looks like Science of the Pans just letting them have a bit of time. As if they want to let them know what it was like, briefly, for a moment or two, to experience uh, their own selves uh, being bathed in blue light. Uh, but not quite enough to allow them to take this point back. Oh, having said that, well, no, 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 it's an exchange again. Blue team, you've got to get on the buddy points, you fools, you idiots, get on there! Right, uh, so a bit of scout on scout on soldier on demo action and Science of the Pans once again takes it. It's it's ridiculous. It's getting futile, overwhelmingly stupid right now. We need to see some time on this clock. We need to see the map turn around. We need to see advantages going the way of Japan. Even with a beast covered in piss, that should be enough. He has almost no health whatsoever, but he's just scooting away to try and Try and recuperate his losses. Uh, the amazing action of uh, 
Bunny420 being thwacked in the feet by Beast, who has had, frankly, an amazing round. Beast has just been literally namesake Beast in doing so much damage and surviving with so little health. Looking now, uh, uh, covering, the, covering the back of uh, Benny420. I, I want to see, I want to see Benny do some good. Uh, working together with her teammates does seem to be almost completely oblivious of the the dare man who's following along behind him. Uh, Tommy, Tommy even uh, is is always there and willing and eager to take down more than their fair share of deaths. Wow, there it is. That's that's uh, that's, that's the blue man. It is it's the, the the lesser seen experience of Japan actually finally managing to work together briefly in order to take the point. The control point is being captured. But it's not good enough to take it. You need to hold it and holding it with something that your family does better uh, so long as your enemies are covered in piss. Uh, an old known French saying. Uh, yes. Once again, it returns to the mid-fight. I'm seeing Blank go down, finally. This gives us opportunity. There's a push-out. There's a double demo push-out to mid. Uh, although Benny changed their mind at the last moment to decide to go back. So it was a push-back. It's a push-back. And now they're sort of fighting blithely uh, outside their own spawn. It's as if they don't even care what's going on in the mid. As if they don't care about the opportunity of taking a point and, and sort of reconciling differences uh, or dominating the offensive action. Words and things. It's all been a fantastic and, and frankly terrifying experience. 200, how are you keeping yourself together? Oh, I'm not really sure. Like, the Benny 420 is absolutely the best MVP of this game. And he, this guy, this guy should should like the get a special kind of medal for this intense it, gameplay worthy of taking home your own personal pan oh uh, maybe that's certainly a consideration worth being made as the clock is flashing on the zero 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 yes my clock is bigger than yours um and we will see in the in the next few moments whether or not uh, Japan is capable of doing anything, getting any points on this clock. Uh, well, certainly, I was going to say uh, Austin is not going to take this, or certainly he's not going to take this one lying down, but it looks like they have to. That is, once again, 0-3. GG's being called. Is is there any need to go onto a third map? I nope, don't know what the rules so. are. Well, yeah. in that case, we have ourselves a fantastic and glorious win by the silence of hands it has been an experience unlike any other you're likely to have today i am of course talking about ready steady pan the european grand final and as you see today it doesn't take much to become a grand finalist just six people and lots of pans thank you very much for 200 for stepping in the last few moments there and providing a much needed break for me. I didn't really actually do much, but thank you so much for the casting. It's been an amazing time. It's been an amazing season. We like, uh, we did all we could to keep this season running. It almost died at the very end, but it lasted. And it's, it's, it's brilliant. I'll have this. Thank I, you so I don't much. think this pan related <laughs> action will ever end in our hearts and in our minds. We yeah. know that if there's any way that you can bring your friends together and have them beat up other friends using a handheld piece of equipment that is likely found in most kitchens up and down the countryside, uh, and in fact in big towns as well, many cities have pans all over the place. Even our chat is filling to the brim with pan related accessories. There is no better place the, to go than pan.tf. Yes, you hear it first. P-A-N.tf. The best place to go for your pan-related misery stories. And accoutrement. 
Uh, a big shout out to a master of disaster who has uh, casted or or observed this uh, for the first time on the Quitscast channel, stepping in the last moment there uh, when Vithoft uh, was unable or incapable of joining or, or doing his thing. Uh, a big shout out to Loic uh, and a big curse to the internet of Loic. Rawr! Would you like to make any shout outs before we before we finally leave? Um. I'll probably get a, like, um, say a big shout out to the entire Red Set, the, the Derby Sage, the guy who sacrificed all his sleeping time to the disputing and uh, to creating all the matches. This guy, like, did everything. And uh, the big shout out goes to um, the guy behind the Osportress website who generously donated entirety of his uh, code so we could like uh, build our website based on the uh, osvolter system so it's like thank you very much for all your help it's been an easy season thank you so much <laughs> indeed right well um we should also have a quick shout out to etf2l playoffs that are resuming next week on this here very channel you will find yourself not with pans though they might bring up pans it's not compulsory though it's not like this game uh there'll be other other classes involved maybe a bit of a, a bit of a show in from heavy uh maybe using some weapons that you've not seen before if your only experience of team fortress 2 is playing pan related games uh you might want to broaden your horizons experience uh, a new exciting world of team fortress 2 that involves other weapons I know, I was surprised too. Uh, find it here at Critscast, uh, the Team Fortress 2 stream of things related to Team Fortress 2. Thank you to everyone who took time out of their energetic Sundays, Saturdays, and every day of the week uh, that enforced them to, to play this silly game uh, with one another. To all of the teams who competed in Europe's version of... Uh, Ready, steady, pan tournament. But the rest of the world, everybody who played Ready, steady, pan for any of the matches, certainly for season three, but even for season two and season one. That's how strong my love is for this game. That I'm prepared to give a shout out to people who have only played the one season a long time ago. Indeed, and I th it's probably time for me to stop talking, as I am doing right now. Thank you to everyone in our stream and everyone who's ever existed. Thank you all. I love you. I love everybody. Good night.